Hey everyone, today we want to talk about how you can extend Dynamics 365 Field Service with Remote Assist to improve first time fix rate. In this session, we will talk about the Field Service app, the Remote Assist app, how you can use both business apps together to improve on site customer service, and then we'll finish by covering resources to get started. Let's start with Dynamics 365 Field Service. Field service is a great tool for any organization that installs something, maintains something, or repairs something. This is because all three require the organization to send someone to the customer's location to perform the installation, maintenance, or repair. However, sending support personnel to various customer locations all day can be a tough thing to get right. First of all, managing everyone's schedules to ensure they're meeting customer timelines is tough and ensuring everyone's driving routes is minimizing travel time is also difficult. And also, ensuring that when technicians arrive on site, they know where to go, what to do, and can fix the issue the first time is extremely tough. Any good field service organization will measure this, and it's called first time fix rate. If you need to send a, if you need to send a technician back to the same customer location, that costs a lot of money and is annoying to the customer. So here's what a typical workflow for field service looks like, and this is what the application does. First, customer issues are raised, usually when the customer calls or a connected IoT sensor notices something's wrong, and this triggers the creation of a work order. Next, the field service organization schedules the work order to the person that is best suited to fix it by being closest to the customer, by having the right skills, having time in their schedule, and more. From there, the technician receives his or her work order on their mobile phone and looks up the customer and begins driving. Once on site, the technician refers to his or her mobile app for instructions of what to do and how to fix the issue and, and will record notes, videos, pictures, and more. Once finished, the work order is updated in real time and reviewed by managers. In summary, the work order is created from a customer issue. Next, it is scheduled with advanced scheduling tools. And then finally, it, it is resolved by the technician with the help of his or her mobile app. So at this point, everything we've talked about is part of the Dynamics 365 field service app. Next, let's talk about the Remote Assist app. The goal of Remote Assist is to share knowledge with the workers who need it. This is achieved by making remote assist video calls between a worker who is on site working on a piece of equipment, for example, and an expert who may be at a different location. This allows the expert to see what the worker or technician is seeing and provide guidance in context to solve issues faster. Having said that, what makes remote assist so powerful is that it uses mixed reality with the video calls. This means the expert and the worker can both make 3D drawings called annotations on what the worker is seeing, as you can see in the pictures to the left and to the right. Also, to make it easy for any organization to deploy, Remote Assist is available on HoloLens headsets, as well as Apple and Android phones and tablets. On top of annotations, the expert and the worker can also share files and record the Remote Assist calls for later viewing. And finally, Remote Assist is, integrate, is integrated, secure, and flexible and can be used with other apps like Field Service, which we will dive into later on. So let's take a quick look at Remote Assist in action. So let's take a quick look at Remote Assist in action. First, the field technician will launch the Remote Assist call from their phone or HoloLens headset. The expert, shown to the right, will receive this as a Microsoft Teams call. When the expert answers, he or she will begin to see what the technician is seeing. From here, they can collaborate back and forth, sending chat messages and talking. In addition, the technician can draw to make it easier to gesture what they are talking about. The expert will see this on his or her side, and they can draw back as well. And all of these drawings are anchored in a 3D space, so none of them will move around even when the technician moves his or her phone or headset. 
This is what makes it mixed reality. Next, let's talk about how you can use field service and remote assist together with an out of the box integration. Looking back on our field service workflow, let's see how remote assist fits in. At the part where the technician is on site, he or she has the option to make a remote assist call and ask an expert questions, which greatly improves their chance of fixing the issue. And furthermore, when they are done with the work, the remote assist call details are posted to the work order for reference later on. Let's take a look at this in action. On the left is a technician using field service mobile. On the work order is a support contact of who to call if he or she needs help. Then from the app, you can open remote assist with a deep link and the support contact will be chosen to launch a call. This is the same whether using remote assist on a mobile phone or HoloLens headset. On the right, the expert receives the call and begins to give the technician guidance by drawing and sharing files as needed. Once the issue is resolved, the technician can end the call and post the call details to the related work order. In the back office, the call details are posted on the work order timeline. So to review the field service and remote assist integration, first you can note the support contact on a field service work order, and this tells the, te and this tells the technician who the expert they can call is. Next, you can deep link from the field service mobile app directly into the remote assist app and call the support contact. And then finally, when the call is over, you can post the call to the work order in a call log, the sh any files that were shared, and the call recording will all be noted on the work order. From a business perspective, the integration is important to organizations for three main reasons. First, it will greatly improve first time fix rate because the number one reason issues don't get resolved on site is lack of knowledge and guidance. And this saves a lot of money because dispatching another person on another day costs a lot of money in time and resources and sometimes even in SLA penalties for certain industries. Next, by posting the remote assist call to work orders, managers can verify work was done correctly and sign off on a job complete. Similarly, those call recordings can be used for training opportunities. So for example, if a work order was a certain type of installation and those installation jobs have a lot of remote assist calls noted, then your organization may want to provide more training on that installation to reduce technicians needing help. Only this time, lack of training isn't going to hurt customer satisfaction. Here are two links that you can go to to learn more about remote assist and the field service integration.